Hello and welcome to Rathod's IS. Today in this session, we are going to see current fights of 27th November 2023. So without wasting time here, we are going to see Delhi edition of The Hindu and we are going to pick out the important articles from our examination point of view and we are going to see the perspectives. So that perspectives will be very much helpful to improve your thought process. Okay. So let us see the first topic in the front page. So the important article here is Supreme Court has always acted as people's court, says CGI on Constitution Day. So the key word here is Constitutional Day. So yesterday, that is November 6th, is celebrated as Constitution Day. And you have to know some facts regarding this Constitution Day and what our CJI, that is Chief Justice of India, is talking about this Constitution Day. And what are the important points he is saying about judiciary? That is very important. So this article is important from your GS paper to under polity. Okay, so this article is very, very important. And now let us move on. In this page, there is also very important article here is Center directs states, uh, state governments to monitor cases of respiratory illness. So as you all know that in northern part of China, in northern China, there is increased number of which cases? Pneumonia cases. So this pneumonia it is a communicable disease. So because of this, yes, it is like a flu. So here we are also thinking that it may spread even in India. So because of this now central government gave direction to the state governments to monitor regarding the cases of respiratory illness. And you have to see like influenza like illness and severe acute respiratory illness. So this topic is very important from our science and technology point of view. And next topic is rules of citizenship amendment act will be framed by March says minister. So here you have to know about citizenship amendment act. Okay. So how you are going to get citizenship. So in how many ways you can get. So in how many ways you will lose citizenship. So all these are important from your polity point of view. So this article is important from your GS paper too. And here you can expect prelims and also mains based question. You can expect prelims and mains based question from this citizenship amendment act. Okay, clear. And if you move on in this states page. There is nothing much important and most of the articles they are political articles. And here in this editorial page, so this article is talking about elections in Rajasthan. So we are not going to bother about this. And here this article is talking about regulation of censorship. So here this article is talking about especially the turtle issue. So we are, we are not much bothered about this as well. And here there is one article. It is regarding fleet electrification. So this article is very important because nowadays we are facing problem called as air pollution, especially in national capital region. So NCR region, yes, we are facing this. air pollution right so because of air pollution so we are having air quality index which have been affected so air quality index had been affected because of this air pollution so here there are many studies says that rather than using of fossil fuels so we can move towards renewable source Okay, so whatever the engines that we are using now in vehicles, so they are petrol based engines or diesel based engines. 
so we can move from this traditional engines to electric vehicles so this is this topic and it's very important and in this opinion page there is very much important topic that is femicides so what is the meaning of this word femicide that is killing of women so this article says some data like UNODC that is United Nations Office on Drug and Crime and United Nations Women which shows that there is increasing of number of killing of women intentionally. So there are about 88,900 women and girls they were intentionally killed worldwide. Okay so here there is killing of women. So that condition is called as femicide. And United Nations came up with a study and the title of the study is Gender Related Killings of Women and Girls. Okay, that is Femicide or Feminicide published in month of November. So this study which says that total number of homicides worldwide decreased in 2022. But here there is increasing of femicide. That is increasing of killing of women. So here you have to see like what are the reasons for increased killings of women so what are the measures can be taken and even though we have some laws which are protecting the life of people but even though here yeah, they are not protecting the life of women okay so you have to see this article from that point of view and next topic is why is bihar demanding the special category status so here you have to focus on the keyword that is special category status here you have to focus on this word special category status so here you have to see why this Bihar is demanding on which basis and you have to see what are the facts regarding the special category status and which are the states which are already got the special category status and on which circumstances a state can be identified as special category status. So all these things are very important. So this article is important from GS paper to under polity. Okay and this topic is important from both prelims and as well as from means. Prelims and means and in this news page there is nothing much important so here you can see here one important summit that is world climate action summit so this summit it is a high level segment of 28th united nation change climate change conference okay so we are going to have in dubai right that is in uae so here our prime minister he will attend this world climate action summit in dubai during this 28th conference of parties so here you have to see some facts regarding this what is this world climate action summit so this article is important from gs paper 3 under environment and ecology so this article is important from your environment and ecology which comes under GS paper 3. And here this topic is important from both your prelims and as well as means. So it is important from both your prelims and as well as your means. Yes, there is one more article that is supply demand gap. Supply demand gap for pulses oil seed fruit to persist over the next seven years says report so there is one report which says that there is supply demand gap so there is increasing of uh, so increasing of demand but the supply is less of these items like pulses oil seeds fruits so because of this what happened whenever demand demand and supply mismatch so whenever demand and supply mismatch happens then what it will cause it will cause price instability it causes price instability in the market okay so whenever demand is high and supply is less what happen there will be 
increase of price so whenever there is increase uh, decreasing of demand and increasing of supply there will be decreasing of price so this is the condition that we will see in the market like whenever the demand is increasing and supply is decreasing overall price of the good will be increased and whenever demand is decreasing and increase in the supply is happening then the price of that good will be decreasing so now what happen now we are facing inflation so what is the meaning of inflation that is nothing but increasing of price of goods and services in the market so the cause here is there is supply demand mismatch okay so this article is very important so that's all so these are the very important articles that appeared in our today's hindu newspaper and now let us see the notes okay so if you want to get the notes of this class you can join the telegram channel link is given in description box don't forget if you want to get notes in the pdf yes you have to join the telegram channel so the first topic here it is supreme court has always supreme court has always acted as people's court cji on constitution day so here you have to know about what is this constitution day and when we are celebrating this day and why we are celebrating this day and which ministry recommended to celebrate this day so all these things are very important okay so chief justice of india said that it is a solemn duty of current generation to keep afloat the idea of india powered by constitution based on principles of individual liberty equality and fraternity so our honorable cji chief justice of india so who is a cji cji is a top most judge of supreme court right so cji said it is a important duty of current generation to keep ideals which are present in our constitution which are those important ideals like individual liberty equality and as well as fraternity so if you see some details it says that when we say today we honor the adoption of constitution first and the foremost we honor the fact that the constitution exists and that is the constitution and that the constitution works so actually our constitution is not a religious text it is not a religious text right so it is a living document so why our constitution is called is called as a living document because whenever we need changes according to the society so we are making the changes according to the society right we are making the changes to our constitution according to the society so because of this our constitution is not a it is not a stable okay it is like it is changed according to the needs and aspirations of the society so your chief justice words are very much significant as constitution and supreme court they are entering 75th year of their adoption okay and they came so why it is very much important because so this year we are celebrating 75th year of adoption so because of this for sure in your prelims you can get a question regarding making of our constitution don't forget about this okay and the chief justice said that the common man should not fear approaching court so whenever their rights have been infringed so they can come to the court they can approach the court for the justice so courts they were an extension of constitutional gov governance so they are extension of constitutional governance for the past 7 decades the supreme court had acted as people's court so this is a thing which said by cji and why we are calling it as a people's court because thousands of citizens they have approached its door with a with a faith that they would get justice through this institution why because they approached that they had a faith that they will be getting the justice through this institution so what is this constitutional day so it is celebrated on 26th november every year so every year on 26th november we are celebrating this constitution day so it is also known as national law day so it is also known as national law day on this day in 1949 constituent assembly of india 
formally adopted constitution of india that came into force on 26 january 1950 so because of this every year on this november 26 yes we are celebrating this constitution day so the ministry of social justice and empowerment so ministry of social justice and empowerment on 19th november 2015 notified the decision of government of india to celebrate 26 november as a constitution day so here you have to remember which ministry ministry of social justice and empowerment it is very very important and next i want to give you one prelims question which asked in 2021 So, what is what was the exact constitutional status of India on twenty six January nineteen fifty? So, option A, option B, option C, and option D. So, please let me know answer for this question in the comment box. Don't forget. So, it is very very easy and direct question that asked by UPSC in year twenty twenty one prelims. Please do answer the question. And next topic is Centre Direct State Governments. to closely monitor cases of respiratory illness so central government which is direct in the state governments to monitor about the respiratory illness in the states because of high tension which seen in northern china so if you see context it says that union health ministry so union that means at the state at the central level health ministry directed now state governments to closely monitor the cases so which cases influenza like illness and severe acute respiratory illness so influenza like illness and severe acute respiratory illness in the wake of recent reports of a surge in respiratory illness in children in northern china in especially northern part of china children they are facing with this respiratory distress So here the ministry asked both at the state level and district level surveillance to come up with integrated disease surveillance project. So they said that we can come up with this integrated disease surveillance project to keep a watch on the cases. And even states they have also been directed to send nasal and throat swabs of patients so that they can identify which is the respiratory pathogen which is causing disease. and ministry also advised states to immediately review public health so they said that we can review public health and hospital preparedness measures and we can also ensure the availability of trained hands hospital beds drugs vaccines for influenza medical oxygen antibiotics personal protective equipment testing kits and reagents and functionality of oxygen plants ventilators infection control practices so all these are very much necessary if there is any surge in respiratory illness in our country so here actually there is spread of this pneumonia called as mycoplasma pneumonia okay mycoplasma so it is caused by fungi so here this mycoplasma so myco means nothing but belongs to fungi okay mycoplasma pneumonia it is a type of bacteria okay that can cause respiratory infections such as pneumonia bronchitis and pharyngitis so you have to if you are like so myco means fungi but it is saying that it is a type of bacteria so please do google so actually uh, actually i did a lot of research but i didn't get the correct answer for this so if you are from a medical background or if you are from this pathology background so please let me know so what does this mycoplasma means Okay, so these infections they are sometimes called as atypical or walking pneumonia because they will be having some milder symptoms compared to of other types of pneumonia, and even this type of pneumonia do not require any hospitalization. That means admitting in the hospitals. However, some people they may develop severe or complicated cases. So in that severe case of complications, yes, there is a need of medical attention. So the symptoms of this mycoplasma pneumonia infection it will vary depending on the part of respiratory system it is affected. For example, they will get like uh, some signs symptoms like they will be coming and uh, they will be having some common fever, sore throat, cough, headache, fatigue, muscle aches, etc. And some people they will be also having chest pain. So whenever they are coughing, okay, recurrently, 
okay heavily they will be having this chest pain and there will be shortness of breath wheezing or ear pain so these symptoms usually appear up to 2 to 3 weeks so next topic it is about 14 killed crops hit as thunderstorms rain batter gujarat so the key word here is thunderstorms so if you have read your world geography so there you might be reading about the cyclones anti cyclones and even thunderstorm lightning topics right so this article is important directly from your gs paper 1 under geography okay so we can connect this with our static syllabus of geography so now let us try to see this topic and let us try to understand what are these thunderstorms so context says that because of unseasonal rain and hail storms which had been seen in gujarat that killed at least 14 people so 14 people they were died and more than 50 animals they had been lost their life because of this thunderstorms and hail storms so this is a very large scale damage to there is also da- large scale damage to the standing crops in as many as 220 talukas and this areas they reported multiple lightning strikes so because of this thunderstorms hail storms about 50 animals and about 14 people they died in gujarat so if you see the details it says that in several districts standing crops they were destroyed and damaged by the rain okay because of this hail storms so whenever this ice which is coming and falling okay in the form of rain then what happens so if there is any grains for example this is the paddy so it is having grains here so whenever ice is coming and which is hitting means so every grains will be falling down right so it will be not helpful for getting of this uh, collecting of this rays uh, grains which is fall on the ground so because of this that will causes lot of damage to the crops so if you see some facts regarding this thunderstorms and tornadoes thunderstorms and tornadoes they are severe local storms so what are these thunderstorms and tornadoes they are severe local storms and they are of short duration so they will be there for short duration and they occur over a small area okay so they are severe local storms and they are short they are for short duration and they will occur in a small area but they are very much violent so thunder storm is a storm with thunder and lightning so they are storm with thunder and lightning and they are typically also heavy rain or hail will be seen so we are also getting heavy rain and as well as hail so thunder storms mostly occur on the ground where temperature is high so where this temperature is high there we can see this thunder storms and they are less frequent on water bodies because if you see the temperature on this water body is comparatively low and yes so no yes right and worldwide so there is an estimate which says that 16 million thunder storms they occur each year okay and there are roughly 2000 thunder storms in progress so next topic it is about fleet electrification and this topic is at most important and if you are writing an answer regarding how to control air pollution you can add one dimension like so we can go for fleet electrification clear so you may get a question like so write a note on fleet electrification also so why it is in use because if you see in this national capital region so air quality index is very very bad so air quality index is low and millions of people they have to face serious health hazards due to recurring increases in air pollution so because of air pollution yes here what happened there serious health hazards are seen and about 9 lakh new trucks they are added to indian roads every year so every year new vehicles are adding under this transport system or transport facility on this roadways okay so india carries over 2 trillion ton kilometers of freight on trucks so we'll be using normally the road waste for the transportation purpose so here because of this what happened so whenever there is increasing of the traffic or increasing of number of trucks then what happened that will leads to congestion yes or no increasing of traffic jams and especially these new trucks they are mainly powered by diesel fired internal combustion engine vehicles right so they are powered by diesel 
fired internal combustion engines vehicles and they will face a greater onslaught of pm 2.5 pollution so they are the major reason for the increasing of particulate matter 2.5 uh, pollution in the atmosphere so they are here we have it uh, one way forward here is we can go for this fleet electrification so what is the meaning of this fleet electrification it is nothing but transition of fleet vehicles from internal combustion engines to zero emission electric vehicles so we can move from traditional diesel petrol powered engines towards this zero emission electric vehicles and these fleets are nothing but your passenger vehicles like we can use cars road transportation vehicles like buses and as well as delivery vans heavy duty trucks which are used for transportation purpose so they all comes in this fleet vehicles but if you move on to this uh, fleet electrification yes we have some challenges so first one is there is a need for business continuity so to maximize the benefits of this fleet electrification yes it is essential that electric vehicles are to be charged ready on time so we do not have proper infrastructure charging must be seamlessly integrated to vehicle's journey to avoid business interruption so we need to focus on infrastructure and next one is whatever the infrastructure regarding this charging charging stations that is not adequate in our country it is very much critical and even there is limited energy so as the global demand of electric vehicle charging which is growing means there are energy capacity limitations so whenever there is increase in demand so we can see there will be delimitations so this is also one challenge and there is need to minimize energy cost so even if you are focusing on availability of this energy the cost of the energy which is depend upon the demand okay and as well as time of the day so when the demand is high during the day here the energy comes with a higher price so this is also one of the challenge okay regarding this fleet electrification so i hope this is very much clear and next topic is why is bihar demanding the special category status so the word special category status is very very important here from our polity gs paper to point of view so why it is in news so recently on november 22nd so cm of bihar okay cm of bihar led cabinet passed a resolution and this resolution is focusing on granting of special category status to bihar so they are talking about granting of special category status to bihar so the demand which comes in the backdrop of the findings from bihar caste based survey 2022 so here bihar came up with this bihar caste based survey 2022 and this data which says that about 1/3 of bihar's population continues to live in poverty so because of this bihar is eligible for this special category status so this is the thing which mainly said by the state government so what is the special category status actually mean so it is a classification which granted by center okay central government came up with this classification as special to to assist or to help the development of the states so the states which are facing geographical and socio economic disadvantages so those states they will be getting help okay from the central government that is called as special category status So this special category status was introduced in year 1969 on the recommendations of Fifth Finance Commission. On recommendations of Fifth Finance Commission, yes, we have this introduced. We introduced this special category status in year 1969, and we are taking into account five factors. For example, the first one is hilly and difficult terrain. Next one is population density. and how much amount of population they are belonging to tribals and strategic location whether it is present on international boundary or not and economical and infrastructural backwardness and even they will focusing on state finances so these are the five important things that will be considered before granting this special category status okay 1969 there were three states that is Jammu and Kashmir, Assam, Nagaland. 
they were granted the special category status and later on eight states they got the same status that is arunachal pradesh manipur meghalaya mizoram sikkim tripura himachal pradesh uttarakhand but whether this bihar had been satisfying this five criteria or not so bihar although it is meeting the most of the criteria but it does not fulfill the requirement of hilly terrain and geographically difficult areas so it is a one of the primary reason okay it is a primary reason which should be considered for difficulty in infrastructure development so these are some important things which are said in this article okay so that's all so these are very very important topics that appeared in our today's hindu newspaper and if you want to get the notes of this class as i said you can join the telegram channel so this is the rathod's is classes telegram channel you can join here to get the class notes and this is our web uh, rathod's is academy youtube channel so please do subscribe to this channel don't forget and this is our website so whenever you are visiting to our website so first you have to click on login register and click on do not have account and fill the details and later on you can use the login id and password so that you can watch demo videos in our website so you can click on play codes and you can watch the three demo videos without playing without paying a single penny and after watching demo videos if you like then you can go for purchasing of this courses and one more thing here is from december first week onwards you are going to come up with prelims booster course so we are going to provide you the day to day schedule for prelims and as well as we are going to have daily test and as well as prelims test series from month of april uh, from month of uh, march so that is very very useful and there are four faculty who are dealing with these subjects of your prelims and your trained faculty so you will be get a most benefited if you join this course so if you want to get the details of this prelims test uh, prelims booster course so please contact me on this number 8074 Seven six double five one three. Okay, so this is a WhatsApp number or Telegram number. You can text me on Telegram or WhatsApp, and even you can call to me on this number directly. That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this lecture. If you really like this class, hit the like button, and don't forget to share this class to your friends. And also, please do subscribe to Rathod's IS Academy. Thank you so much for watching.